This is the solution to written homework 71. Okay, so it says use separation of variables. Okay. So, uh, as a first step towards separation, how about x squared dy is y dx. So those are not uh, separated yet. So how about 1 over y dy? is 1 over x squared dx. Okay, that's separated now, that's good. So antiderivative 1 over y dy. And then I can see that uh, we're going to do antiderivative, so instead of writing 1 over x squared, I'll write x to negative 2 dx. So this would be log absolute y is equal to uh, x to negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus an unknown constant. So log absolute y is negative 1 over x plus an unknown constant. So the absolute value of y is equal to the exponential of negative 1 over x uh, times the exponential of c. So there's uh, sort of two possibilities. So one conceivable solution is that negative y, replacing y with negative y, uh, negative y exponential negative 1 over x times the exponential of c is a solution, or uh, y equal to exponential of negative 1 over x times the exponential of c is a solution. So two possible uh, solutions. But let's use the initial data with both of them. Okay, so then this one is saying negative negative 1 is e equal to exponential of negative 1 over 1 times the exponential of c whereas this one is saying just regular negative 1 is the exponential of negative 1 over 1 times the exponential of c. So this one is saying 1 is uh, 1 over e times the exponential of c, and this one is saying negative 1 is 1 over e times the exponential of c well, this one is easy enough. This one is saying that e is the exponential of c, which is possible. Whereas this one is saying uh, negative e is the exponential of c. But this, this is impossible. Not possible. because the exponential of anything, the exponential of z, is greater, in fact, strictly greater than zero for all z. So that uh, is not a possible solution. So this is the only uh, line of solution that's possible. And this part over here is not even possible. So the exponential of c is e. So negative y is exponential of negative 1 over x times the exponential of c, which is e. 
So we could solve for y and obtain that y is negative, moving that negative to the other side, and then exponential of negative 1 over x plus 1.